Without data, you're just another person with an opinion. My name is Queenie, and I often like to introduce myself as an actuary without border. This is because I love traveling and work in global development within the micro-insurance space. As a passionate young actuary, good with numbers, fascinated by data, I will navigate with you in the boundless world of useful open data sets, just like we're looking for Wally in the puzzle books. So where's Wally in the global development data world? Data.worldbank.org is a popular open data source where you can find world development data sorted by country, region and topic. Let's take an application example. As remittance brings a significant development impact, my company is hypothetically looking to create a remittance bundled microhealth insurance product. Let's look at the remittance transaction price. You can see this data in table, chart and map form. All of the data sets we look at also has an option to download the raw data. Let's look at the map. When compared to the world average, African countries clearly have a high remittance cost. If this is due to market competition, this could imply that the choice of remittance provider I can partner with is limited in Africa. Next stop, we will comb through International Monetary IMF dataset to find Wally. The IMF publishes a huge range of global financial data. A particularly useful dataset is the International Financial Statistics, which includes lending, exchange rates and other financial indicators. In our application scenario, it will be important to look at the exchange rate. Let's take two countries in Africa, Nigeria and Kenya. Let us download and filter. From this, we can see that past data tells us that Nigerian currency is very volatile compared to Kenya. As a result, if I was to roll out my remittance product in Nigeria, I'll need to be very mindful of the currency related risk. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Whilst Wally think this is a great health saying, there are many more ways in measuring good health. The WHO's data visualization dashboard provides great insight to health priority indicators like mortality, disease and injuries. Now, what kind of micro health product might address the needs of my client? If you compare the malaria rates in Nigeria to Kenya, Kenya is just below the world's average, whilst Nigeria is on the top of the list. Perhaps this might say that malaria products would be in much larger demand in Nigeria. Many companies believe they have to collect their own data to see benefits from big data analytics, but this simply is not true. Hopefully Queenie, the actuary, and Wally has shown you that data, being the ultimate weapon of mass deduction, does not always have to be paid for. Always look out for open source data before collecting your own.